Hey everybody, welcome to episode four. So here we are outside on location filming today. And you'll see that we've got the entire cabinet completely stripped. I've just come out and sanded it. I want to get all that old glue off there. And it's really, really smooth at this point. I need to put a little wood filler in here. Here's a joint that I wasn't able to get exactly right because of the way it cracked. But we've now got this thing completely smoothed out. It's in really good shape. Just need a little bit more cabinet work. You can see here when they joined it, they joined it with a seam right here. That's obvious. So we're going to fill that in, sand that down. Here's the hole that wasn't supposed to be there. We've got that plugged up from the inside. We've got wood fuller. That's, that's done. And then on this side, more of the same. We had a big seam here. This entire piece broke off in shipping. So we've got that all put back and we've got wood filler in there. We've got it all smoothed out. We are going to go over it one more time. But in general, we're getting there. It's starting to come together. I don't think it's perfect. As a matter of fact, I know it's not perfect. Um, you'll see here that this is bowed out a little bit. Same here, very little. I don't know if that's original. I don't know if it was like that always, or it could be that this panel is warped. I'm not going to go crazy on it, all right? It is what it is. It's got some, some character. So that's where we are, all right? So um, next thing we're going to do is we're going to try to do some veneer testing. I am going to try contact cement and the old uh, glue and iron trick on two pieces of scrap wood to see how that comes out, just to see if I like it. I want to try try both methods on a piece of scrap wood and see if it works. So that's where we are, guys. We shall return when we have more to report on this little bad boy here. Just a little commercial. Take a look at this thing. It's a Stromberg Carlson model 1120-LW. Really, really nice. I'm going to have to do a little bit of work on the top of this thing to get it back to normal. But as you know, I have some experience with woodworking now. But it's got a nice radio in it. Stromberg Carlson's are really, really good. I've got the radio of my workshop. And take a look inside. It's got an antenna, a, remo a movable antenna inside. And it's got a nice beefy speaker that appears to be in good shape. So uh, this is going to be an upcoming restoration project. We've got plenty of other things in the hopper to worry about before we do this, though. So this will be coming up, too. Hey, guys. Um, so here's what we're working on now. I'm building the supports that are going to go underneath the, um, the, the uh, pla I guess, what would you call it? Um, the plate where the turntable goes. So if you recall, uh, that's where the, we had the major failure. <clears throat> so um, basically what I'm doing is I'm going to put these wood blocks there, and I've just mitered it to size. I've had to, you know, make a couple of indentations because of the cleats that are in there. And um, we'll show you what that looks like here. Here's our case. Right here. And this is going to go right here like this. And we're going to glue that down, and that's going to provide support for this platform. That's what it is. It's a platform. And we're going to do one on the other side. But I'm going to take the opportunity, before I put this in, to test out my veneering process. So let me uh, let me get that set up and we'll come back and I'll tell you what I'm thinking about that. We'll be right back. Okay, so what we're gonna do is we're gonna cover the face of this piece of wood here. Not because we have to, but because I wanna test it. So I'm gonna, first of all, cut this piece of veneer. This is the old veneer that was on the actual um, unit itself. Just a little bit longer than the piece. Like that. We're going to snap that off. Then we're going to make a nice little trim down here on this side. Doesn't have to be exact. We're going to trim all that away. Now here's the problem I have. Okay. If you recall, the wood case on this thing is pretty weak. Now I put it together, it's got tons and tons and tons of glue, but I'm really worried about using the, um, the glue and the iron technique, simply because I'm going to have to put a lot of pressure on it, especially on that top. 
Hold on one second. Sorry about that. I'm going to have to exert a lot of pressure on the top of that unit. And I don't want to do that. I may damage it further. So that's what I'm worried about. So I'm going to test out a technique here with contact cement. Now, everything that I've read and watched on YouTube said I should be using gel contact cement. So I just went to, uh, to Home Depot and picked up this little thing of contact cement. And we're going to test it. And it says shake well, apply in a well-ventilated area, use the applicator to spread it out on both sides, let it dry until glossy, about 15 minutes, and align, and then let's see what happens. So we're going to test it on this piece of wood, no problem, right? So let's do that. Let's apply it, and we'll see what happens. So this may be the way that I have to end up doing this thing, is, uh, is using um, contact cement. And the key to this is make sure it's uniform. We don't want any air bubbles in there. Yeah, this stuff does stink pretty bad. So we're going to let that go on. And we're going to do the same thing on our other piece. This is experimenting with Ron. Veneer. <laughs> all right, let's get this on really good on all the places that we need it. I see right here this brush they give you, a piece of the bristle came out. That can't be good. So I would have to use a different brush because obviously the one they give you is cheap and made in China. Let's get that out of there. Okay. Alright, I think we got that on pretty uniform. Just go down here a little bit more, just make sure it's smooth. We don't want any orange peel effect. Alright, we're going to let that dry for 15 minutes. And then we're going to come back and apply it. Looks like it's already dry on that one. Alright, I'll be right back. After we get down with this, we're going to test the glue method. Be right back. Okay, we're at the 15 minute mark here, and we're going to apply the two pieces together. Now, the way I'm going to do this is I'm going to put the piece of veneer flush and I'm going to actually apply the piece of wood to it. And that should help me to get it where I want it. Let's hope. Okay, i got plenty of room on that side, so here is where we just need to make sure we're aligned correctly. Right there. Now what we're going to take is our little roller. We're going to roll it out. Make sure we get any air bubbles out of there that may exist. I'm going to pay special attention to the edges Go on this side. And apparently, it's done. There's no more drawing required. It wasn't so bad. So now we have to do this trimming. And I purposely left this big for a reason. I want to try out this Miles Craft laminate trimmer. Never used one before. But apparently, what you do is you take this device, it's got a single edge razor in it. Let's find out how you use it, because I have no clue. What would be the best way to do this? Let's see. Probably something like this. I feel like such a spazzo right now, but I have no idea how to use this. And right, here we go. That worked pretty good. Let's do the same thing here. This veneer is so old, look what happened here. It chipped. That's why we're experimenting. I'm not 
not so sure I like this thing. I think it's really, really easy to mess up. Probably better off just taking a blade like this and just running it across. Yep. I think that's going to be the ticket. These fancy tools don't always work. That looks like crap. Okay. Anyway, it's solid. I can tell you that. All right. You have to help me get up there. All right. Okay, I decided I'm not going to try the uh, glue method on this video. I'm going to try the contact cement before, uh, experiment again, but I'm going to use a piece of newer veneer. This is just a piece that I have. It's not dry and brittle like the other one. I want to see how it trims. So that's what I'm really interested in now is the trimming ability on this thing. So um, I've cut another piece to size, and we're going we're gonna to apply it to the side here, like this. And we're going to see how it comes out. I am going to trim this back right here so I don't have to deal with that later. Let me just mark that. So that's the only thing I'm really concerned about now is the trimming of this thing. I think the uh, contact cement is going to work just fine. Just make our cuts here. doesn't have to be perfect. This is only an inner brace. Alright, good. Good to go. That's on this side. Okay, let's apply our contact cement again. And we'll see if we have better luck with this one. Yep. Okay, this glare on this light is not good. Okay, we're going to let this dry for 15 minutes and we'll come back and try it. Okay, 15 minutes have passed. Let's mix, let's see if Ron will make the same mistakes again. You never know. And we're going to put it on this way. And we only get one shot with this stuff. Like that. Let's roll it out. I think part of the reason why it ripped is because I didn't roll it out correctly on the edges. Plus I had too much of an overhang. I think if you have more overhang, it's more prone to ripping like it did to me there. So I've learned from that as well. This piece feels much more solid. Let's get that edge. This is the edge we're going to trim. Let's make sure we have good adhesion on the edges. <coughs> Same thing here. Alright, let's try our little gadget again. Because now I'm determined to make it work. That should do it. Okay, let's see what happens. I think even pressure is also required here. That worked much better. And then you just take a piece of sandpaper. Much better. Yep, so that's the trick. This old veneer just doesn't cut it. So that's how we're going to do this, guys. We're going to use contact cement. It's the best way to do this, especially when I have a really large piece that has curves. Um, it's going to be really hard for me to get an iron on there and not put too much pressure on it. That cabinet is relatively weak, so we're not going to uh, we're not going to take any chances. So I'm going to um, I'm going to cover this side. I might as well. It's going to be part of the radio anyway, so I might as well cover it. Don't need to record that again. I'll just show you what it looks like when I'm done and then we'll wrap up the video. 
Okay, we got a free bird if anybody wants it. All right, let's get this piece on, and then we'll wrap up. And all I really care about here is that this edge is solid together. Let's see. Just like that. Let's press down with our roller. Anybody want a free bird? It's available. Let's make sure the edges are solid. That's what we did last time, and that worked out really well. So I think I'm getting the hang of this thing now. This is why I wanted to experiment on a piece like this. Okay. Let's trim this thing off. Perfect. Now I know how to use the tool. That's a good thing. Alright, so except for this piece here, which really uh, was the old veneer, this is pretty straightforward. Okay. We're going to apply the old English. Just make it look somewhat decent. Again, it's inside the radio, so I don't really care. It's really just a brace, right? There's nothing more to it than that. I'm not going to worry about staining this thing. Really what I would need to do here is a little green filler, I think. I'm just going to put some of this stuff on here just to uh, make it blend in just a little bit. Okay, one more thing. You didn't think I was going to let that piece go, did you? I had to redo the top. Now it looks like a really nice piece. So now I know how to veneer, I think. Looks much better, doesn't it? Alright guys, we'll see you next time.